Hello everyone, this is Don with another video on uh, AWS uh, Certified Solutions Architect Associate 2020 certification and in this video uh, we are going to learn how to connect to S3 Bucket uh, from AWS CLI. Now if you if you haven't installed this AWS CLI you can watch uh, one of the videos that I made on how do you install and configure AWS CLI and connect to the uh, connect to your AWS account. So in this video we are going to need two, in, two EC2 instances. One is EC2 uh, Windows instance, the other one is Linux. We are going to use S3 service and within S3 we are going to create two buckets. So one bucket we are going to create using uh, using the management console that we are going to access to uh, from CLI and the second one, second bucket we are going to create from CLI itself. So, uh, so, for, uh, so for CLI we are going to connect from our uh, laptop, so essentially your own laptop from where you are connected to the AWS account. So uh, and from there and also we are going to connect from EC2 instance. So let's get started. So first of all you need to log into your AWS account by I am a user. You can log in using the root uh, user as well but I would say just create a I am user. Do everything using I am uh, uh, user. So I am logged in with my I am user in, in my AWS account using and so from the management console first of all I'm going to go into EC2 instances I'm going to show you the two instances that I've created uh, earlier I'm going to use the I'm going to use the same instances if you haven't created the instances all you need to do is just launch instance one Windows the other one is Linux uh, now uh, so both instances are ready and uh, so what we're going to do is we are going, going to go and create S3 bucket so I'm going to go to S3 so within S3, uh, S3 currently there are no buckets. So I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is let's create one bucket here. So I'm gonna name the bucket 360 Cloud Bucket 001. So this is the name of the bucket, and here remember that this which region this bucket is sitting in because this is the region that we need, that we need to connect from AWS CLI so here and where we are going to uh, just need uh, public access as well and here is just a wording saying that you need uh, your enabling public access the bucket is available to uh, the internet uh, rest uh, we're going to use all of the default values and create the bucket so as we can see the bucket is created so I'm going to go inside the bucket and upload a few files so that uh, we can uh, uh, we can work with those files in this lab. So upload and here I'm going to go add files and I'm going to select two images right from here and upload these two files. So and here nothing special needs to be done. Upload and the files are uploaded. Once the files are uploaded, I'm going to do another thing to basically go inside the file and make them public. So once you're here, uh, once you go to the files, uh, here you can see the other properties, all the properties of the file. If you need to view the file, uh, if you click the file, it will give you access denied because the file is not public. So I'm going to go back to the file and make sure it is uh, public. So uh, if you're getting a different uh, screen on your side, it might be a little bit different interface, but all you're looking for is a place where it says uh, make public, this file make public. So I'm going to go to object actions and it's the last option here in the, in, in your portal, it might be, it might be a pic, it might be an icon right on the same screen, but all you need to do is to just click on make public. So once this is, uh, this file is made uh, public, it is, and what I'm going to do is go back and now try the link again. So once I'm going to try the link and here it says uh, the file is open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and do the same thing with the other file. So you need to go back, make it public. So now that our bu bucket is ready, so all I need to do is now connect to this bucket uh, from our CLI. So when you're connected from CLI, what we need to do is we need to open command prompt and in the command prompt first of all make sure that you have AWS CLI uh, installed so once you install so here I'm gonna I'm gonna share the link I'm gonna share the link where uh, the, uh, how do you install AWS CLI now if AWS CLI is installed you will see this command otherwise it will give you an error message uh, so here uh, AWS CLI and if you need to see the version 
the version of CLI is I'm using 2.0.60 uh, and Python version is uh, 3.77. These, these are the latest version available. So in order to get, in order to connect to our subscription, so what I'm going to do is uh, we are going to need a AWS account uh, from where we need to uh, connect. So in order to connect to the AWS account, all I need to do is to use a command called AWS configure. So once you connect, it is asking for the access key of the account to which you need to uh, connect to. So here, my access key is already here, and my secret key is al also here. And here is the important part, part uh, where it's saying that I need to use the right region. And right here, uh, if you see the bucket here, it says the region is us dot east us dash dot us dash east dash one. Uh, so make sure this is the region. Now, some sometimes we do confuse it with the regions that are uh, that are EC2 uh, based. So uh, when you look at your EC2 instances, in EC2 instances, the regions are named in a slightly different manner. So if I go to EC2 instance here, uh, my both of the instances are sitting in but uh, one is sitting in US East, one C and one E. Uh, whereas in the ST bucket, it doesn't it doesn't give show the letter of C and E. This is just says it's region one. So this is this is uh, the region that I'm going to select when connecting to AWS. So here I'm going to write one region and here you are now connected. Now, the one thing about the access key and the, and the secret key, if you don't know your access key and secret key, all you need to do is to go back to your IAM settings and uh, and get the secret key and access key from there for the user that you uh, that you need to connect from. So for example, if you need to go to, uh, if you don't know what is your access key and secret key, all you need to do is to go into IAM and create a new user, or if you wanna, if you wanna connect to an existing user, for example, if you need to connect to this user or any existing user, uh, all you need to do is to go to your user, go to uh, security credentials. Within security credentials, it will show you that this is the access key, but it won't show you the uh, secret key. But if you do need a secret key, first of all, this is only shown the first time when the user account is created. At that point, you will you will save it in a in an Excel sheet and give it to the user. Or otherwise, if you don't have this key now available, all you need to do is to create a new access key. So once you create a new access key, it will show you uh, the secret key and access key that you can use to connect to the CLI. So here I'm going to just close that. And I am already here inside. Now I'm going to see that if I'm, so here I am connected to uh, my AWS account, I'm going to just run one command and see that if my S3 is accessible. So S3 is accessible. It's saying AWS S3 LS is accessible and it's showing me the bucket that I have created. So what we can do is, uh, so we can see the bucket is created. So I just wanted to show you that sometimes you will get an error message if uh, your AWS config is not properly, uh, if, if, if your a, a, AWS config command is not properly run. So for example, if I run, so for example, if I run AWS configure and so, okay, so this is, if I run AWS configure, it will ask me for my access key, secret key, and here in the region, if I give a wrong region. So for example, 1C. Uh, so this is 1C is the region where my uh, uh, where my EC2 instance is. So this will take the command. I mean, normally sometimes uh, we do choose a region that is uh, basically uh, a region uh, for our EC2 instance, uh, but this will be wrong. So if I run the same command now to see the S3 bucket, it will give me an error message. So this gives a general error message. It's just saying that uh, your endpoint, the region that you're connected to, is not correct. So in order to correct that, you again, you need to rerun the command again. So that command will be config. And in here, use your access key, secret key, and correct the region. So one, if you don't know the region, you can go to S2 bucket, S3 bucket, and you can find the region from there where your, uh, where your bucket is. And now if I run the command again, I can see uh, that uh, I can see the bucket. Now uh, let's create a bucket right from here. So if I want to create a bucket, I can just say AWS 
MB and uh, uh, the name of the bucket. Sorry, AWS S3 MB make bucket and then I need to name the bucket. Bucket CLI 001, so that this bucket is created from here. Uh, so here it's saying wrong argument. So this error is due to because I have not show I have not there is a typo here. I need this command needs to be S3. So uh, when you run a command, just make sure uh, that everything is proper. AWS S3. You're going to make a bucket, and the bucket name will be this. So once it does, it just provides you that uh, bucket make bucket is failed for this user. Now make bucket is failed and the error is uh, invalid bucket name. So most of the time the error uh, is uh, the points you to the right direction. It's saying the bucket name is not proper. So in, in this case what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose all lowercase. So now the bucket is created and now I'm going to one more time see all of the buckets in the all of the buckets in this S3. So let's check and there are two buckets sitting in this S3. I'm going to go back to S3 and see if these buckets are created. So bucket, uh, so now I can see two buckets. So one bucket that I created from CL, from uh, from here, uh, from the console, the other bucket I've created it from the, uh, from the CLI. Now uh, we will see that, uh, how do you, I mean, uh, if you need to see the objects inside the bucket, all you need to type is AWS S3 LS. LS is just to see, list the uh, bucket. So if I need to see the objects inside the bucket, then I will need to run this command. Just type the bucket name. So either you can type it or you can just copy this bucket name. Uh, so if you select the bucket name and press enter. So once you enter, it is copied. And wherever you need to paste it, just press right click. As soon as you press right click, this will show you what is in the bucket. So in the bucket, it's showing me there are two files. So uh, in this video, we have seen that how we can connect from, how we can connect from AWS, uh, AWS CLI and connect to S3 bucket. And uh, we will, how to list the bucket. You can use a command called AWS S3 LS. In order to make a bucket, you, need, you can create a command. You can use a command S, uh, AWS S3 MB. So now what we are going to do, we are going to connect to this bucket from uh, from one of the instances and delete the newly created bucket. So in, in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to uh, the EC2 instances. So let's go to one of the EC2 instance and connect to the EC2 instance. So uh, it's just going there. And uh, so I'm going to go to my Linux instance. So so here I'm going to just select and connect and I'm just going to take this command here and put it. So this will take the key. This will take the username. Everything is here. I'm just going to copy this and open another CD, CMD. So another command prompt. So the other command prompt, I'm going to open it and I'm, I'm just going to paste this. But uh, when running this command, make sure that your key is sitting in this directory, in this folder. So I made sure that my uh, this key was sitting. So normally when you download the key, it is sitting in the download folder. Just make sure copy from there and put it in C users and whatever your directory is. Then this command would run. Otherwise, you will get an error message that you won't find the key. So I'm just going to press enter here so this command will connect us to our ec2 instance so now uh, i am going to run aws s3ls same command to list uh, how many buckets are here uh, now uh, so we can uh, so now uh, what we need to do we need to delete the newly created bucket so in order to delete the bucket i'm going to run another command that is s3 RB. RB is that command uh, that is used to remove the bucket. So RB stands for remove bucket. If you need to see the help of this command, you can always type help 
after this uh, and it will give you the help uh, it shows you that it deletes the empty bucket if the buckets are not empty then you need to remove the objects uh, with rm command uh, so uh, but for for now we just need to remove the bucket because it's empty and here the good thing about this help is that here it gives you the examples uh, as well you can copy this example or you can type that in it, it, it can work in both ways and here it's also saying you can use a parameter called force force what it does it will first uh, remove all of the objects in the bucket and then remove the bucket so it forcefully removes everything the bucket and the object and uh, and and everything uh, within the bucket if you don't use force then and there are objects then you need to use a different command so for now in order to get out of the help i just i can just click q uh, the word uh, the letter q it, it it can exit from the help so in order to remove all i need to do is to use this command aws s3 rb and the name of the bucket remember to type s3 and the name of the bucket either you can type this or you can copy this so i'm going to just copy this here and enter so what it does it is bucket is removed and we can again list the buckets now i can see only one bucket so guys in this video we have used cli to connect to the s3 bucket and uh, from the from our laptop uh, over the internet and from the in from the ec2 instance as well thank you for watching this video